So you already know who it is. And you know what we do around here. It's your boy Trey Sense. So fragrances in my collection that make me well. <laughs> Feel super stupid when it comes to swag. You want to know what fragrances in my collection that just make your boy just like, ah, I feel like when I when I come through there like I'm the man, well, sit right there and I'm going to tell you about 12 fragrances in my collection that, man, just made me flex on. Be right back. What's going on everybody? Man, it is your boy Trey Sense, aka LL Cool Trey, aka you already know. Trey Belafonte in the building. That's right, Trey Belafonte in. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. For those of you who probably think that's corny, the LL Cool Trey and the Trey Belafonte, look, it just sounds good. It's fit, it fits me. Cause you know, LL Cool J was the man. My favorite, one of my favorite hip hop songs of all time is I'm bad, you know. I still put on my headphones and rock out to I'm bad. That song to me is just, it's just ultimate. LL just go in, the beat, you know, everything. It's just, I'm bad. So I love, you know, not necessarily the biggest LL Cool J fan, but I love that song. So it's your boy LL Cool Trey. And the Trey Belafonte, well, you know, let's face it. I'm pretty smooth, charismatic, a little bit charming, as you can tell. <laughs> I don't lack confidence, but well, why should I, right? Of me. But there are some fragrances in my collection. Man, oh man, when I reach for them, when I spray them on, you think this head is big now. When I spray these fragrances on, man, you can't tell me nothing. You really can't tell me nothing anyway. But when I put these on, and I'm clean, fresh to death with my nice polo on and my, my leaves, my Levi's fitting right over my, my all white Reeboks. You know, whatever I decide to put on with them, you can't tell me nothing. Valentino Womo Aqua. Now, this is not gonna be a list of, of fragrances that you've never heard of. I'm not breaking stuff out. You know, this is not gonna be, you know, the reinvention of the wheel type of video. This is not gonna be uh, uh, fragrances that you've never heard of before. You're gonna be in heard of most of these fragrances, but I'm just telling you, the feeling that they invoke inside me and you know they help my confidence which is part of the reason why i wear fragrances in the first place but this bad boy right here man mm, it smells good it's sexy it's not something that you're gonna smell on everybody and it just it just smells elegant classy uh, uh professional sophisticated and when i spray it on i just i just feel like man i feel like i'm the man which I feel like I'm the man. To be honest with you, <laughs> if I sprayed on some stuff that come from the Dollar Tree, I would probably still feel like I was the man. But when I spray this stuff on, it go through the roof, man. Valentino Umo Aqua. Love it. Love it. All right. Let me get this one out of the way. This this one, many people in Fragcom know about it. Um, it's one of the best fragrances that you can have. And it just happens to be from the House of Sensual Obsessions. And it is Andy Warhol. When I put this stuff right here on, I, my confidence goes through the roof. And it's because I feel like nobody else has this. I feel like there's not going to be anybody else around me in North Alabama that has this. So it, it just makes me feel more confident. I'm like, man. You know, and they ask me what you're wearing. I'm wearing Andy Warhol. And it's just that plum note in here. Kevin has mastered this fragrance. He has mastered this fragrance. I mean, and it's just projection on it is good. Performance on it is good. It does everything that a fragrance is supposed to do. So when I put on my Andy Warhol from Sensual, you already know. You already know because my head already like, yeah, let's get this one out of the way. I ain't going to take it out of the box. From the House of Creed, Royal Oud. Royal Oud. Yeah, I want to see the bottle. We'll take it out. I'll show you the bottle. That's rude of me. Royal Oud, man. When I put this fragrance on, and I, 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 this is one of my favorite fragrances. It just smells regal. It just smells. I say, I'm gonna take it out of the box. 
I said I was gonna take it out the box. Um, yeah, it just smells good. It just, it just smells good. It smells sophisticated. It smells regal. It smells like money. And it just, it's just something about it that says, I don't know if it's the vetiver or the oud in it, but it's just something about it that says, I'm not really trying that hard. But yes, I know I smell amazing. And to me, that is, it just exudes my confidence. And again, I think it's one of those that, it may be a couple of guys around here to have a bottle of this, but I doubt it. Doubt it very seriously because it's not a popular fragrance. It's not one that gets a lot of talk. So, and again, that just makes me feel like I'm different. I'm in my lane. I'm outside of the box and I love it. I absolutely love it. Put that over here so I don't get, um, let's go with another inspiration house. And there's several from this house that, that absolutely sent my confidence through the roof. And it's from the house of Dapper and this is Angel Shares. Whew, my goodness. And you see the levels on that? I'm trying to tell y'all, when I talk about these inspiration houses, I wear this stuff, guys, and I get tons of compliments, great performance, great longevity. I love the stuff. That's just me. But when I wear this, again, I feel like I'm wearing a high-end, high-quality fragrance that nobody else around me is going to have. And that just sends this big head to the moon. I mean, it sends me through the stratosphere, baby. Another one. And I love this fragrance, and I've talked about this fragrance many times on my channel, and it's from the house of Lacoste, and it is La Home. Love this scent. Man. Boozy, sophisticated, masculine, smooth. I just it it feels like like I see myself because that's how I see myself. I'm a man and I'm a man's man. You know, that's just that's just it. Unapologetic. I'm a man. Everything about me. You know, that's just that. And this fragrance wraps that up. Now is it you know, is it old school, like outside uh, uh, chopping a lumber, being a lumberjack like um, Azaro Perhon? No, it's, it's not like that. It's not like that, but it is smooth. It is confident. It is boozy. It is just nice. Goodness. I'll tell you one that I should have put in here, but I've, I've mentioned it several times before um, as I look at my collection from Hugo uh, yeah, from Boss, it is the scent. Yeah, you go Boss the scent intent. No, private court, private court. Yeah, I put that joker on. Confidence just goes through the roof. And again, it reminds me. They these, they remind me a, a little bit of each other. So I guess when I smelt this, that would make me think about it. But I'm glad to bring this one to the forefront. This one is inexpensive as well. You can get this one for under thirty dollars. And they also have the intense version of this, which I think is a little bit deeper. But if you can't find the intense, go with this, man. And that's Lacoste La Homme. And that's is my swag on overload. This next one is an aquatic, but I've been wearing it for years. It was probably my second fragrance from the house. The house is Bulgari and it is aqua. And to me, this is one of the best offerings that they have. It just smells good, man. It's salty. It's aquatic. -y. It's, it's violet leafy. It just has this vibe about it to me. It just has this vibe about it. And this is one that I can remember. I wore this to a club one night and I was with a group of guys. I stepped out of my truck and the breeze hit me and people were like, man, somebody smells good. That's what I talk about sometimes when I tell you about fragrances. Sometimes it ain't about going here or going here. Sometimes it's about that, that sea eyes that it leaves behind. Yeah, sometimes it's about the, about grabbing that person's nose when you walk by like, because I'm going to tell you guys something. I'm going to tell you guys something, especially you single guys out there. Understand. Understand me. Clean cut and good smelling will never go out of style. I have yet to meet a woman that said, oh, he's too clean cut. Oh, he smells too good. I'm telling you, if you're single and you want to, to draw more attention to yourself, pay attention to your hygiene and your fragrance cream. Simple stuff like brushing your teeth, you know, making sure your hair and your nails is clean. Simple stuff, you know, making sure your clothes are always fresh and clean. They ain't got to be expensive clothes. Just make sure they clean. Women pay attention to stuff like that. Make sure your shoe game is on point. Again, they ain't got to be $300 Jordans 
You know, they, you know, because when you get to my age, yeah, I just want to be comfortable. That's that's what I look for. They be like, "What's your shoe size? Comfortable? That's my shoe size. Whatever you got is comfortable. I don't, you know, I'll make it match. You just make sure it's comfortable. Just give me something comfortable." So, but women pay attention to stuff like that. They really do. They pay attention to it more than than you think. Because think about it. If you saw a chick, no matter how good she looked, if she were busted and had them dirty old clothes and dirty old shoes and stuff, you're gonna be like, and sure they fine, but same thing. So they look at you the same way. So, you know, maybe you just got off work or something like that, you know, it's understandable. Nonetheless, Bagari Aqua. This is one that just gets in the air, gets off, off of my skin, off of my clothes in the air. It is a compliment getter. People love it. It smells good. And yes, uh, Clayton and Mama, don't y'all say nothing about my small bottle. Yes, I know, but that's enough for me. I got 17,000 fragrances. I don't need no big bottle. Another inspiration. Well, no, this is not an inspiration house. From the house of E.J. Wells, Blue Fire. I don't think I've ever worn this, this fragrance and not gotten a compliment. And it's been, what are you wearing? type of it's been that it's been oh my god you smell amazing what is that what are you wearing type of fragrance type of compliments they want to know what have you got on that smells like that because it's sort of gourmandy and it's sort of aquatic it's just different and i like it because once again i don't know who in north alabama or in the state of alabama is going to have this and it's going to be spraying it so i feel like when i hit it whether I'm going to the mall or going out to eat or whatever I'm doing, I feel like when I come through there, they like, that is. that's Trey. That's Trey. That's who that is, baby. That's Trey. Love it. Blue Fire from Happy Land Studios. EJ, EJ made a masterpiece when he made that one. I have not had this fragrance very long. And it is from the house of Givenchy. Givenchy. And it is Gentleman's. It's a Givenchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Givenchy Gentleman EDP Boise. It's a lot to say. But this fragrance right here, man, I was telling my boy Sam about it. I uh, Sam saw my video about it. He was like, Shh. I saw Trey's expression. Yo, I gotta go get it. And when he got it, he was like, Trey, listen. Yo, Trey. Man, Trey. Trey. You listening? You listening, Trey? Hold on. Hold on. Let me get Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Trey, listen, yo, Trey, Trey, that fragrance is dope, it's dope, man, Trey, that stuff sexy, man, you gotta get it, Trey, Trey, and I was like, yes, yeah, Sam, that's my little, that's my little Sam Broom impersonation right there, y'all, don't tell him, no, don't tell him, but anyway, man, Sam smelled this, and he was like, Trey, <laughs> I was like, I told you, man, this is just a beautiful fragrance, man, powdery, leathery, gourmandy, just goodness, just goodness, I mean, this is just sexy, so when I wear this, I'm sure there's probably a few people that have got this, though, because it's at the mall. So they probably went through there and got it. And it's Givenchy, so, yeah. I'm sure them girls at the mall have, have pushed that. I got this many more. This one is a flanker to one of my favorite fragrances, and it's from the house of Chanel. And it's Blue de Chanel, the Parfum. Now, my favorite of the, of the line is the EDT. It's just, to me, it's more wearable. It's more enjoyable. It fits the Alabama climate better, but it's something about when I wear this one, that perfume, I just feel sophisticated. I feel uh, confident, I feel masculine. You know, I feel more mature. I feel more mature when I wear this one. It, it just it just does it. Um, yeah, proud to have this one. Blue de Chanel, the perfume. Not to be confused with the EDP, but the perfume. Three more, y'all. John Barbados Vintage. I absolutely love this fragrance. <sighs> Smooth, tobacco, masculine. A good, not cold weather fragrance, but cooler weather. Um, cooler weather, yeah. I mean, you can wear it anytime. Um, nice sweater or nice long sleeve button up type of scent. I think it, it, it says sophistication. But it's not, it doesn't say that, that you're stuffy. You know, it's not too much. It's not over the top. It's just a nice fragrance to wear. And I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's one of the best offerings from John Barbados. I like it a lot. That tobacco comes through, through there really, really good. It's a nice, sweet tobacco. 
levels on it are about right there. So, you know, I've worn it quite a few times. Vintage from the House of John Barbados. This next one, man, um, I remember when I found it, it was, it was quite a surprise. It's in TJ Maxx in Jasper, Alabama. Uh, we had just left church. The ex-wife and I had just left church. And I was kind of bummed because I didn't see anything. She comes walking up with this gift set. She was like, do you have this? And I looked at it and my eyes was like, and I was just like, no, I do not have that. Paco Rabanne's One Million Privé. This is just a sexy, sexy, sexy fragrance. Um, and that's part of the thing I like about this fragrance journey is it, the memories. The memories, the memories, the memories. And you know, um, my thoughts on things are this. Uh, my marriage didn't work out. That doesn't mean that my memories of anything that I did while I was married have to be bad. They're my memories and they're mine. And I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna cherish them and I'm gonna have fun with them. You know, clearly things didn't work out. So there's a reason. God has another purpose, God has another plan. Okay, let's get busy doing it. But that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna remember the things that I did fondly. That's just me. Learned a lot, grew a lot, came out of the situation a better man than I went into it. So, and that's just for those of you who wonder, why you mention his ex-wife? Well, that's why. Married for a reason. So, I mean, you know, why be bitter? Hold on, this saying I'll call it. I know that impersonation of you was spot on. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna impersonate cheapo to, say I'm hung up on me, y'all, you got mad. Nonetheless, this is a sexy, sexy, sexy fragrance. I'm gonna sit around and smell myself. Man. Definitely do, man. You ever smell the fragrance? Went through your fragrances and smell one, it was like, why, why don't I wear that more? Like, and I tell you, I worked out of, the levels are high on this because I worked out of a decant. The, the gifts that I bought had like a 15 mil decant with it. So I worked out of that decant forever. So I'm just now having to dig into this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's sexy right there. That's, that's smooth, smooth, boozy, commandy. Just, you know, sexy, confident, invoking type of scent. You can't spray this on and not feel like ain't nobody in here got as much sauce as I got. You just, you know, but that's me anyway, though. I've always been that type of guy that felt like, you know, my swag is like that way. You know, it's just me. I don't mean to be bragga braggadocious or come off as a jerk or anything like that because anybody that knows me knows I have one of the softest hearts ever and I'm one of the most compassionate people that you'll ever meet. You know, I'm, that's just who I am. I'm soft. Ask Cheapo. Cheapo be like, shit, they'll be all right. And my other, my other homeboy, my boy D, he the same way. That's his favorite line. They'll be all right. Because <laughs> I'll be like, man, I hate saying shit. They'll be all right. Because I'm a giver. You know, that's just my, my soul, my, my passion in life. Love to see other people smile. I think my cologne collection is big. Y'all should see the, the fragrance. I've probably given away twice as much as I have left. And that's just the honest truth. Because I'm just a giver. I like to see other people smile. I like to think that I've done something to make somebody else smile. So when I spray this on and walk by, I'm making them smile. But y'all, this is just a beautiful, beautiful scent. If, if for some reason you don't have this in your collection and you're looking for something to add that's going to be great to wear on a date, uh, are great for the upcoming, which in Alabama, we still got August and September. So we still got 60, 70 days and October of 85, 90 degree heat. So we still got 60 to 90 days of it. But for those of you who live in other climates where it's gonna start to cool off soon, you may wanna consider picking this up. Not that you can't wear this any time of the year because you can, but I do think it's better at night or in cooler weather. Beautiful scent, one million pre-bay. Last but not least, and I'm gonna hit myself with this one too. I 
And this is one I went hunting for and could not wait to get it. That's right. Prada Luna Rosa Black. Or just Prada Black. Man, oh man. This bad boy right here is just... it. When I wear this one, I feel like a bad boy with swag. I feel like, man, I'm fixing to go ahead. No, I better not say that. On, no. Never mind. This fragrance, I mean, I just feel confident. That's just, mm -mm. I'm going to leave that alone. Man, it just smells so good, so crisp, so powdery, so... I mean, you, nobody can complain about the way you smell when you wear fragrances like this, y'all. They just... They just do it. They just do it. Or at least they do for me. Yeah, this was when I went all the way to Burlington to get and didn't think they had it and was kind of bummed out and set my arm up on the shelf and honestly almost knocked it off. And I was just like, I wish it had been the 100 mil for the price I paid for this because I paid 50 bucks for this. I did. But the important thing was it was a beautiful day. I got out, did some hunting, found some fragrances, and I'm happy. Prada, Luna Rosa, Black. Woo, 20 minutes, 20 minutes of this video. Thank you all for stopping by my channel. I love you all. I really appreciate each and every one of you. We are at 1,650 subs. If you didn't know, again, big shout out to the homie Big Smooth, Big Cheapo Depot. I'm sorry, the Fragrant Life now has hit that 5K mark, man, pushing. And see, this is the Supreme team. So if one of us got it, we all got it. Between me, him, Sam, JP, Manny, Supreme team, baby. You know, we clicked up over here and we look out for each other, believe it or not, believe it or not. So I'm so happy for Cheapo reaching that mark. It is what it is. Congratulations, big homie. I'm proud of you. Proud of you because y'all don't know the conversations that me and him had. You know, starting back when he had about 500 subs. Y'all don't know. We've had some interesting conversations. And there's been times Chipo wants to take his mic off and sit it down. You know, but, you know, I encouraged him to keep pushing. You know, he saw through it, fought his way through it. And now look at it. So let that be a lesson to you. Just because you get a little burnout, a little bit of de depressed sometimes, don't quit. Don't quit. Don't give up. Keep pushing. And that's what I'm going to do. Speaking of pushing, again, we had 1650. So we're going to be at 1,700 before too long. And I do have a goal. What's that goal? Before 2021 turn to 2022, let your boy be, let's, let's get two Gs in them. And I ain't on here begging for subs. I'm just saying. That's my benchmark. That's my goal. That's what I want to hit. So let's get to that two Gs. How does that sound? Trace Sense with 2,000 2, subs. Can you imagine that? I remember when I had 50. So let's keep pushing, man. But again, I want to thank you all for stopping by my channel. You guys are the best part of my day. Um, and I, I truly love you all. And I love what I do. And I hope that shows in this stuff, man. Because uh, I, I love it. I love it. And I appreciate y'all tuning in to see this ugly face talk about some scented water. But hey, we here. So let's do it. But anyway, please be sure to share this video like this video and so the likes help us out a lot so if you have a favorite reviewer you don't want to share that video like it it helps you to push that person the more likes they get the more they're pushed the more they're pushed the more people see them the more people see them the more they're monetized can help and they can buy more fragrances especially for us small time guys who don't really get stuff outside of sensual obsessions and dapper and three and one you know it, it helps us a lot so but anyway, I digress. I've ran it enough. Again, y'all, thank you for tuning in. I can't say thank you enough. I really appreciate all of you. Um, I'm going to try to get you a video tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to. Boys got kind of a big day tomorrow. Uh, I'll tell you about that in some later videos, but big day for me tomorrow. I'm nervous, so keep me in your thoughts and your prayers. But anyway, um, I'm going to jump off of here. I love you all again. Thank you for tuning in and being the best part of this channel and for always returning to the scene of the crime. It is your boy, Trey Belafonte. Out. Peace, y'all.